Hello and welcome to Wireman's Whimsy. I'm Lorraine and today we are going to make this really pretty card uh, using the Good Feelings set, You're On My Mind and In My Heart, and going back to the Artistically Inked set. I haven't used this in ages. Uh, I love the way it's got the varieties, different values in the stamp itself. It's one of the distinctive stamps and I thought I'd step it up just a little bit by using the baby wipe technique. So for the pink tones, I used Cherry Cobbler kind of in the middle. I used Blushing Bride uh, in various spots. You can see the Blushing Bride. And then I used Sweet Sorbet, which is the more pinky red. For the leaves, I used Pear Pizzazz and the uh, parakeet party and you just drip them on and give them a minute to blend together and then when you stamp you get this uh, you get different the leaves always look different unless you stamp in exactly the same place um, but you get different varieties on the leaves and then you get the different colors there's your cherry cobbler and your sweet sorbet and your blushing bride uh, it really does just punch it up that little bit. It's super easy to do. I always use a plastic uh, base under my um, baby wipes because the baby wipes will bleed through, the ink will bleed through. So you have a protective uh, cover or base underneath when you're doing this. You just drop them around, like here you can see with the um, pear pizzazz, there's one, two, three, four, five, six drops. And then I just filled in around with the uh, parakeet party. I'm going to make sure I got that right. Yes, the parakeet party. So uh, real simple to build this card now. I stamped the You're On My Mind and In My Heart in the Sweet Sorbet. I did this as a one sheet wonder and I cut it into five and a quarter by four and I'm going to flat mount it. Now in the Artistically Inked, you can put centers in the flowers. And I debated about what color I would do the centers. And I intentionally decided to leave the centers blank. Primarily because I didn't want to introduce another color into this. I really liked the way it was. So I'm just going to line that up at the edge and drop it down. So if you're doing this one and you would like to add um, centers, um, Daffodil Delight or Melon Mambo might be an option. Um, you can go with, uh, I guess, second value of early espresso if you wanted a darker center. Um, like I say, for this one, I wanted to keep it light and fresh so I and simple. So I didn't introduce that third kind of color family into the card. Again, um, if you're casing this, you can absolutely do it however you like. It really, really um, is completely up to you. So I'm just going to line this up in the middle of the card and just drop it lightly down. And I'm going to pick it up to make sure that I'm centered. I'm centered, I'm a little bit up this way, but that's okay. I'm going to leave it like that. And then I have the leaves. The leaves are going to kind of overhang the greeting. So I only need to put dimensionals on kind of the outer edge. If you wanted to put some adhesive on the rest of the leaf, you certainly can. It uh, doesn't, you don't necessarily need to do that. But let's just put this one back down. So I need to put the dimensional on the back of this leaf here. And then just pop this down like this. And then I went in with some iridescent pearl basic jewels that I had used the, um, I believe it was old olive on this one, but it actually looks really nice. Um, you just take your blends and you uh, just color your um, shapes. You can do this with the opal rounds as well. Uh, you, any kind of clear or white based um embellishment you can color you can use your blends to color ribbon as well if you wanted to uh, to make it your own so there we go and we have the finished card using the baby wipe technique with the artistically inked stamp set 
with the greeting from your On My Mind and In My Heart. This will stamp quite red when you when it's wet. When it dries, it's that beautiful shade of pink. So thank you so much for watching, and we'll create together again soon.